Okay, we're here at the Tri-Lab booth. I want to introduce you to the Tri-Lab Deltic 2. It's an amazing machine. Has the most precise and beautiful prints for FDM printing. Absolutely gorgeous. This right now is printing with the mosaic palette. Super easy to use. It's connected over here through USB. So basically it's speaking to the printer and they're working in tandem. So you ha don't have to do anything for calibration. It's all set up in the factory in the Czech Republic and it does an amazing job. Here, one of the coolest things is that you have a phone and you can control this through Bluetooth anywhere in the room. And also there's an application that you can, that's exactly like this for iPhone, for Android. You can control the printer in any way that you want from anywhere in the world. Okay, we're here at the Tri-Lab booth with Michal, one of the co-owners. Please tell me about the amazing machine you have here. First time at Formest, we are presenting the Deltic 2. Uh, this one is uh, in a version Deltic 2 Plus, which is a printer which allows to print up to 50 cm tall objects. And in this configuration, I mean, I will just uh, continue uh, with the dimension of 25 cm of, of, the, of the base. And uh, as you can see, uh, we redesigned completely. Uh, we we, we re redesigned completely the frame, so it's much more, much more rigid, it has, a, it has a new design, but uh, we have completely new interface, which is a wireless display in, a phone, in, in the way it's a phone, so we have our own application that controls everything uh, through the Bluetooth, and of course you can control the printer and set up all the jobs uh, through the web control, which is run on any, any kind of your, your PC or, or Macintosh. So, uh, this configuration allows also to monitor uh, the print all the time. So we have a built-in camera which controls uh, by, by which you can control everything, and you can remote, you can control it also remotely. That means uh, from anywhere, from your phone, from anywhere, you always see what the printer is doing. You can you can stop it, you can pause it, or you can uh, change the parameters of the print if you want. In this configuration, I'm, I'm, uh, present, we are presenting here uh, the possibility, let's say, the upgrade of the Trilab Deltic. Uh, we call it the Flex Print. So that's a second extrusion system uh, in, the, in the way that's a, a system in the direct, uh, remote direct drive. That means we are having a direct drive, so we are pushing these flexible filaments like TPUs, TPEs, uh, we are pushing directly on the head while we are keeping the, the, the print head light because the, the engine is uh, still on the rigid frame. So that's, uh, that's called Trilab Flex Print. And here you can see, if you, if you know here, you can see that uh, these, are the, these are the outcomes that you can get from the Deltic with Flex Print add-on. So these wow. are all the flexibles. It doesn't look so, but these are all the things which you can get from that printer. Yep. Amazing, amazing. All right, okay. So that's, that's Deltic 2 Plus, and we have the second second uh, stand here, which is uh, which is Deltic 2. So this is this is the standard version with 30 centimeters uh, height of the models to be printed. Again, we have the same application, the same camera, and this you know this this uh, emergency button, which at the end defines a lot of lot of design of the printer. And I, I cannot forget, we have uh, replaceable and removable uh, magnetic print pads, which uh, are easy to use, and then you can then you can easily uh, remove the object. Or it's I would say it's the first step to some future automat automatization of, of the print. And the last thing I would like to show here is the combination of let's say single hot end, uh, single single hot end printer with multi-filament solution and since the last year we are very successfully using the palette which is uh, from Mosaic, Canadian guys and in this version palette 2 uh, we are using it not only to, uh, to print uh, in different colors up to four colors so while you are keeping the perfect quality of the print uh, because of you know Delta Kinematics and our famous uh, quality of Deltic you are able to print with the same quality out of four filaments or you are able to combine 
uh, at the same unit you are able to combine also soluble or breakable materials to make your support and then to make the print really looking perfect from both sides. That's for FDM very, very cool. What we also like is the combination that you have the input of four filaments and you can combine flexibles with PLA, the different colors of flexibles or TPU, uh, you, can, you can combine it also with DDOH, PVA as a soluble and a lot of other options. And I will show you how this machine works, okay? So if you look inside, you are right, right now we are running with the, with the pallet. So you have input of up to, up, uh, of up to four filaments coming in and uh, the, the, the system once you slice the once you slice the uh, the object into these different colors, it uh, sends the G code to the printer and printer sends the commands to the palette. So in our version of so-called trilab quad print, so in this quad print you have the full solution that uh, that uh, connects uh, both printer with the palette and. The palette then knows when to cut each filament and splice it together. So you finally get, so you finally get, let's say, one line of filament which is spliced together, and the system is calibrated so you always get the right piece of filament at the right time. And you have only the purge cover that you have to generate uh, in order to be able to do more filament. So we would like to, I would like to mention uh, some of the applications, some of the solutions that we are uh, doing with, uh, with our printer. Sure. So if we start in the area of design, uh -huh. so these are typical, typical printouts that we do with the printer and, uh, and uh, as you can see also from the brochure, we are printing uh, such, a, such a shoe, uh, shoe parts uh, for let's say handmade production of shoes. We are printing in this orientation, mm -hmm. so you see, you see the, the perfect design of, uh, of uh, and, and perfect print of, of our printer. Flawless. This is, this is for example uh, the toothbrush, uh, double size printed. Okay, so this, these are the designs that, uh, that, you, can, that you can get. Again, uh, one of the very cool designs uh, with the same printer, you just uh, extend and uh, increase the, the width of the nozzle. So here is uh, the print uh, having 1.2 millimeter nozzle, mm -hmm. and you see it's a vase, or it can be the light uh, light bulb or light uh, light cover, light bulb uh, cover. So you can print these these splendid things with this. Uh, crystal Call it a shade, light yeah. shade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so these are the things. Then we have the. These special kinds of vases that that we, for example, print with uh, with uh, mosaic. Again, it's it's, very, it's a very cool thing. And uh, going going down to to the to the to the very famous uh, rabbits that, that you see that you see wow. that, that uh, are printed without any supports, uh, as as you see it, right? That you printed at the show. But let's 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 move also from the uh, cute things and designs more to into the prototyping. Mm -hmm. so for example, for for our customer, we have uh, we have uh, you know and for for ourselves uh, based on the print for our customer, we realized to to show the perfect quality of surface of the delta. So we we, we let this uh, exhaust uh, to be made for us as a as a as a present uh, as a. It's an exhaust yeah. manifold? Exactly, exactly. Got it. So from prototyping, we move directly so to... So I see here, we have, uh, this is for a drone. Exactly. This is a car, like a tungsten carbide drill, mill. And this is to open up bottles. Uh, I think it's for nuts. For nuts. Yeah. And this? This is, this is a very special box that, uh, that we print. Uh, we have uh, partners who are producing such a, such a tool. This is a, this is a tool for atomic for microscopy. Okay. And they produce it, which is like 100,000 euros, uh, the box. And if they want to show Whoa. it to their partners, to designers, and if they want to test if the, if the box fits into the microscope, they have to do it. And the production from metal would cost like 2,000 euros itself. So they, they have it uh, from us uh, with the same dimensions, with all, all the equipment fully working, and they have it for you know 1% of the original price. Amazing. That's, that's, that's saving, that's saving. The next thing I would yes. like to show is a real production. So coming, you know, coming from these camera stands that that we, by the way, got from you, Benze. Thank you very much for it. <laughs> so we moved into the production of the real stands, and you see that these are the stands that that we did uh, ourselves. So this exactly. is actually this part right yeah, back exactly. here. So this is the back so cool. where we put just just these uh, these desks and. 
we built everything by ourselves. So that's, that's the production. It's not only about stands, but people uh, who know us, they know that. That's know, from the original that's, printer, the that's Deltic, Deltic One. one. That's Deltic One. So and, cool. And this is this is uh, the next the, the next level. So this is the Deltic Two corner. Gorgeous. Uh, it's uh, it's really it's really cool. And then we don't end up. You know, we we, we continue through we continue through nylon. And this is by the way the nylon with carbon fiber. So it's it's functional. It's not only prototype, but it's also functional piece. So it could be also here. And we end up with very cool solution, which I especially like. This is this is uh, wax filament and printing the wax positives for the for the upcoming casting. Wow. So casting. This is if you need to do some prototype uh, from the from the full metal, mm -hmm. and you don't have to do the negative form for the for do the wax uh, positives. You simply print the wax positives. This is the metal version after exactly. it's been cast. Exactly. Whoa. Yeah. It feels very hard and it's metal. It's, uh, no, no, no. This I thought is, it was this is printed. Metal. No, 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 no. It's this a real heavy is, metal piece. This is casted part. This That's is, incredible. This is the positive. What's it cast in? Do you know which metal it's cast in? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure. Aluminum, not sure. steel. No, no, no. It's steel. I think steel? it's heavier. Aluminum. It's heavy. Be yeah. So yeah. So this is this is the original. Then you put it into the sand form, negative form, and then you do the casting. So you are five weeks, uh, five weeks, uh, five weeks faster. And I would say within two or three prints, you pay back the printer. You pay back the printer. Okay. Yeah. And then, then uh, I think one of the most, uh, one of the most uh, the commercially interesting applications for for uh, printing at the moment is tooling. Tooling means that you uh, do the jigs or oh, the, yeah. that you do the, the the covers, protections, or mechanical, you know, measurement tools. So these are the tools from Vibracoustic, one of our customers, who told us that he paid the printer within two days of print. Two just, days? <laughs> just, just because of just because of these jigs wow. that, he's, that he's working for him. So all these That's things incredible. are really paying every printer very soon. Wow! And we, we and may, they're gorgeous. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. And we may end up with this vase, which wow. should have been up there, but this is 50 centimeter tall vase uh, from our front. Let's pick it up to, to put yeah. it next to the printer to show how, how tall it is. So this is with the normal one. Wow. Whoa. This, this how you see it. Unbelievable. This is, uh, this is the vase from, uh, from our friend Tondanosek, who is mm. also the, the author of that, uh, and he made it for us. He's so, an amazing so designer. Kind of prints you can do with Delta. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Everything is gorgeous beyond belief. I'm amazing. Here we have Tomas, the secret behind Trilab and how and the support. Whenever you need help, he is the man to talk to. Okay, please Tomas, explain to me how the interface works for the printer. So you can use the Delta controller, mm -hmm. which is the phone. Like yes. You can use so run me through phone, the. Of course. If if you wanna the monitoring, so you have different uh, information here. So can you go through the interface and what the different things are, and then we'll go through the different pages just to give a short, of course, one minute view of every single page. There is a print status. Great. So play, pause, mm -hmm. stop. There is a temperature of the print bed. Yes. Temperature of the print head. Yes. The second slide. Loading, unloading filament, of pretty course. much pausing, then you're homing, and you have re what the preset is to preheat. Of course. Perfect. Super easy. Super intuitive. Third one. Files in order to set the print. Library of the prints, of course. Awesome. And I heard that you can make folders with these. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Next. There will be the setting of the printer. Uh, the so Z baby can, stepping yes, for course. leveling the bed to add the perfect, beautiful first layer. And Okay, so here we have the magnetic plate. You just literally lift it off and you take the parts off. Super easy, super simple, and the print plate pops right back in and you're ready to print again. Perfect. Here we have the interface for using the Trilab Deltic 2 with a beautiful TV. The TV is not included <laughs> with the application and neither is the computer, but the printer does come with the application that you can access from any computer anywhere and you can see right now somebody's touching the inside of the printer <laughs> completely monitored from above which is awesome 
And right now, these guys are playing with it, so I'm watching you guys. Okay? <laughs> so, again, there's the settings for the printer. Perfect. Temperatures in there. Okay. There are information about the speed, sensor, Wi-Fi. All the geeky stuff that you never, ever will need unless you get to the point where you're like a ninja master 3D printer like Tomas, and you can go, and these things are relevant for you. For me, press print, let it go, and do its job. I will show you magic. Sure. You see the lights here? I love it. Okay, let's see. And the lights were off. And now, this guy's confused. Where'd the lights go? Okay. <laughs> they are now. There you go. You have three USB slots, one, yes. two, and three, and the moment that you plug it in, you can use it for, for Octoprint, Octolapse, whatever you want in order to, to make your videos and, and uh, time-lapse prints. Absolutely gorgeous. And the USB, what I was told, you put the file on there, you, you plug it in, you select the file from the application, and then you remove it right away, and everything is stored inside of the printer so you can print it without needing the USB to be in there all the time so you pop it in put the file in take it out pop in the camera whatever it is okay what else can you tell me about this awesome printer yeah let's look at this one this is the XL this is 20 centimeters taller build volume we call it plus version plus Sorry, it's the Trilab 1 was XL, this is the Plus version. So you have the Deltic 2 and the Deltic 2 Plus. And this beauty is ready for printing the flexible materials. Awesome. Like TPE and TPU. The flex print head. Exactly. This is the same print we are printing for now. Gorgeous. That's a test print that you use to test filament that's flexible to yes. see its properties. Of course. Awesome, like a Benchy for Flex. Benchy for Flex. <laughs> I think Michal told me. Yeah, so yeah it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> All right, so here, now that it's running, can you show me the application while it's running over here, you, the different so properties? There, yes, there is, a, there is a printing set use. Yes. You can pause it here. Mm -hmm. It's this, why does it say disconnected? Is it because you're controlling it from the computer? So you can only, there you go. So you can, so you cannot operate at the same time when you're using a different device. So you, like. He will re reconnect in a moment. Fantastic, and it'll disconnect from the computer? Mm -hmm. Excellent, good to know. So this printer. And you can choose which printer you want to connect to. I will click it in. This is awesome. And now and the go. status. Beautiful. So it's at 21%. It's pausing. This moved over to the side, so you can do whatever you need. Even here, can I lift up the bed, take it out, and put it back in just to show that it's that it that it doesn't lose positions. So for whatever reason, you want to take it out, you want to embed something, you want to do whatever you want. Put it back in. Did I put it in properly? How do you know when you're putting it in properly when it aligns with the with the back? The other screws. Got it. So it's within the screws. Yes. Perfect. So pressing play. Playing. Going back, and we're printing right back to, to printing. 21.2 percent. Here's the print bed, uh, the temperature of the print head, and of course the stop button, which you don't want to press. Can you show me how you can take it out and it'll still operate? Can you take the the phone, the phone? out? Yes, yeah. of course. The I'll phone is in a cradle. In. Awesome. And it's a real phone, so you can use it, you can put a SIM card in, you can call your friends, do whatever you want, okay. and you, <laughs> so you get a free phone with the, with the printer. How many, how many printers do that, right? So, so just, cool. It's just a phone. Awesome. With a beautiful wallpaper, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so we are back in the application. Okay. Amazing. You have everything that we showed in the last video. You have the lights. You can adjust the... the Strength of the lights, the LED lights, amazing, it's beautiful. Fan. You have over here the lights. Extrusion, speed, whatever you want. Everything you need, and more. And more. Okay, right now we're actually setting up a print with the MMU system, so we're 
going to show you how easy it is to print in tandem with the multiple material unit. Here is Voita. Voita is the genius behind everything here at Trilab. This is his baby. He was the original designer of everything and he is the one that's in charge of the beauty that is Trilab. He's the co-owner and he's the brains behind the beauty. So Voita. So right now we got a filament prepared by the palette. Okay. And so all I got to do is uh, shove it into the printer. Yes. And that's pretty much it. And now there's a magic feature on the palette. Let's take a look. That's called Smart Load. Okay. And all you got to do is press Smart Load. That's it? And it will automatically load the filament all the way to the printhead. So that is amazing. So it's automatically, right now the wheel is turning, the big wheel is turning. And it's rolling down the river all the way to the head and now it's going to be going out through here this is automatically going to be telling it when the print is ready and it's automatically going to start so you already have everything done automatically literally all you have to do is just press play here you wait until this comes out feed it into the mechanism press play over there and then that's it hands off Correct. The beauty of that is, is that uh, if you have many splices which require some time to cool down, yes, it automatically waits for them. So okay, uh, that used to be a pain before you got to wait, you got to wait, and turn the tool wheel manually. Yes, uh, it's no more. So the smart load takes care of all. All that. automatic, and the reason is, is because it's connected by USB, so they're communicating with each other. Exactly. And working in tandem synchronously in the most beautiful automatic fact fa fashion and as far as you told me you this is the only machine that so works our goal was to uh, i mean the palette is awesome by itself the yes printer is great by for itself, sure but what we want, want to make sure that the user experience is seamless so the user doesn't really have to know uh who is doing what so the user just chooses the file he wants to print and everything that is done in background. So the two of the, the, these two guys basically talk to each other so that they know exactly who's got to do what. So the printer tells the palette, hey, you got to prepare some filament. And the palette says, hey, I'm ready, you can start printing. And the same goes for if you pause the print, the palette is paused as well. So uh, otherwise, you'd have to have like multiple interfaces, one interface for the printer, one interface for the palette. And it works, but this is more of a seamless way. Yeah. Amazing. You can have a look right now. So. We have about 15 mil to go. Okay. So here we go. It's actually coming out and feeding out of the nozzle right now. So it's purging. It's doing a purge right now. So whatever you printed before is already purging the old material. Of course. And it's right now getting to one. So Printer is ready. All I gotta ready. do is remove the filament and uh, I can just say start print. And, and it tells the tells the printer Bob to start printing. Uncle. So right now it heats up the, the print pad. And again, so right now the printer is busy mm -hmm. and uh, the pallet is waiting for, for any, anything that needs to be done to be finished. Amazing. And you can purchase the pallet together it with is, the yeah. printer and it'll be calibrated in the yeah. factory. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so the Full of this, solution the right beauty, out of the factory, the printing in five minutes, is, in multi-material. So unlike other solutions, you still have a single nozzle, single print head, well calibrated, well tuned printer, and you only need, to, or sorry, you only use the multi-material or multi-filament solution once you absolutely need it. So you don't have to, you know, mess up with your printer, uh, you know, take parts off, take parts on. The only thing you gotta do is plug in the filament and you go. And if you know that you need a multi-material printer, yep. Right away, you could get it, and it's ready right out of the factory. Yep. Yep. Perfect, ready to use. Exactly. Awesome. Okay, that is incredible. It's almost at temperature, and then it's going to start printing. So now it's starting to print. It's going through a calibration protocol, touching different points in order to make sure that the bed is completely level. And if there's any kind of deviation by the micron, it will self-adjust while it's printing. The beauty is that this now comes with a 32-bit board, the Duet 2, and also another controller in there. And together they work to make this such an incredible machine that prints like butter. And it's doing the calibration protocol right now. The temperature of the bed is 
55 degrees, the head is going up to 210 degrees for PLA filament from Filamentum. And we also have the Polymaker poly, uh, support, poly support. And right now it's getting right up to temperature. And once the head gets up to temperature, it's going to do this beautiful little U purge line. And once it gets finishes the purge line, which it's doing right now, it will start the print right in the middle of the print. Uh, this is what is this exactly? It's a like a mechanical it's a, it's arm. A bracket. It's a bracket where uh, you know you, you fix it to a surface this way. And the beauty of this print is so. Uh, this would not be easily printable without supports. Not at all. Here you can see the surface is really beautiful from both sides. You can't tell uh, which one yeah. had the support. And the beauty is that you did, don't have to use soluble. So we, we are using these peel away supports mm -hmm. which work beautifully and they're so much robust to work with. Otherwise, unlike the, unlike the solubles, um, if anyone of you try solubles, they are nice but they're kind of a pain to work with unless a you're little. <laughs> yeah. So we're really thrilled by this material. I uh, think there's a lot of potential for that. Gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous stuff. Amazing. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you. One thing that's very important that, that separates this machine and turns it industrial as opposed to all the other machines out there at the same or more expensive sometimes price is that big red button. What does that big red button do? It allows you to have an emergency stop. You have it on the application and now as Tomas will show you, you also have it here. You to turn it and then what happens? It automatically stops. Does it, moment. And what does it do? Does it cool down? Yes, it's cooling down. You have the red, the red is showing, red is dead. Right? We are out of printing. That's right, red is dead, we're out of printing, we're not printing anymore and we're in safe mode. So that way, for any industry, you don't have any problems and you're able to buy the machine and use it for industrial applications that necessitate a big red button. And that's, 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 that are the, the news from Trilab and we are happy to be at Formax and next year we will have a bigger booth and everything. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Amazing.